personal papers. Of course, there's a huge film collection that includes uh, experimental films from all the world and in particular the Bay Area, which is why we're excited to have Alex here tonight, a Bay Area filmmaker. Um, and the hope with this residency is that we'll have someone who can come in, sort of stew with what we have, and find something that strikes a chord with their own work or with their own practice, um, something that they can resonate with and build from, and then ultimately produce um, an experience for people like you to enjoy. Um, so, Alex Blevins, let's talk about a little bit of your research process. Yeah, great. Um, thank you so much, Michael. It was an honor to do this. Um, so, when I first talked to Michael about doing this project, we went to um, the Richmond place where there's a bunch of storage stuff. <laughs> um, Michael pointed me in a bunch of different directions. Um, and I was I looked at these notes from Paul Sherrod's um, at the beginning and it really stuck with me because I, I just love looking at other people's notes and um, and I was looking at all these different materials and eventually just decided that it made the most sense to just kind of really focus in on these notes because they were so um, like referential of themselves and they kind of created this own language within the notes. Um, and they're not really straightforward as like the one kind of I'm taking. Like there's, there's diagrams and drawings, and there's also use of language to kind of convey different ideas about film and structure within film. Um, and I had personally been doing more like handmade film processes, like painting film and things like this, and thinking about using loops and um, I thought that this idea of these notes translated really well to film loops, which are these kind of finite mm -hmm. pieces of film material, um, sequences in isolation um, that kind of build upon themselves. Um, so I made a series of loops, some of them in camera, some of them hand painted, um, some combinations of things um, to kind of convey these different ideas of structure. Um, and so tonight, what I'm going to be presenting is. Um, three different film loops at one any given time, but I have about 26. Um, so they'll be rotating as the evening goes. Um, two of them will be projected onto these screens that were made using uh, reflective glass beads. Um, so they're really bright, and I encourage you to kind of move around the space and see how they look from different angles. Um, they're extremely bright if you're right behind the projector. <laughs> Um, and then another image will be up here, um, and they all are kind of speaking to each other, building on each other um, as a structure. I haven't actually projected this piece yet, so this will be the first time to kind of see how it works. Um, but yeah, I encourage you to kind of come in and out from it. Um, it'll just be going until around seven. Um, I wrote an essay, just a short piece, um, about the notes, and that's in the back of the room. And the notes are also on display. Um, those and I'll also be here to talk. Thanks. Um, thanks to Michael. Um, thank you so much to Colin. He helped me with everything. <laughs> um, yeah, and he'll be here helping me tonight. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think that's it for now. Yeah, just to reiterate, there's um, selections from Paul Sherrod's notes that are back there from our collection. You feel free to go through and peruse them. Yeah, and my, my notes are up there. Um, we made a piece that kind of mirrored the design of the screens. Um, feel free to get closer, take a look at those. They're kind of organized by what sort of idea they're conveying in this sequence. So, yeah, that's it. 